Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Available on YouTube, Whistle and I'll Come to You is an adaptation of M.R. James' celebrated ghost story, O oh Whistle and I'll Come to You, My Lad, first published in 1904. This version is a short film made for TV, adapted and directed by Jonathan Miller, and originally screened for the BBC's Omnibus, which was essentially an arts documentary programme, hence Miller's spoken introduction. This is a tale of the supernatural. From the start, Miller places tremendous emphasis on sound and silence. Anybody there? Using an oral backdrop to create an unnerving atmosphere and reveal character in the way that another director might use lighting and dialogue. <laughs> This is most evident in the performance of Michael Horden. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. His scenes a symphony of muttering and murmuring that was already Horden's cash in trade. <clears throat> and here is amusing, but also quite disconcerting. A bit too spooky for me. Spooky as well as painting a picture of lonely, socially awkward academic Professor Parkin. Wash. And moreover, stop. And this is a character drama as much as a ghost story. Yeah. Sort of dog. Out for a walk in the local cemetery, Parkin discovers a half-buried flute. Find those keepers? and immediately after. Back in the guest house where he is staying, Parkin finds an inscription on the flute. Who is this who is coming? And of course. After which, matters become increasingly disturbing and Parkin increasingly disturbed. As well as the superlative use of sound, Miller's camera is adept at creating tension out of nothing. And then building it. In fact, the whole film is an exercise in building tension to a climax we know is coming, but the nature of which we can only guess at. A climax which is certainly not reduced and, in fact, is arguably enhanced by the lack of digital trickery. What I personally find most impressive about this film is that it is 40 minutes of a bumbling academic murmuring to himself while going for long walks, yet it is both compelling and chilling. There is a more recent adaptation starring the late John Hurt, which bizarrely dispenses with the whistle. Do you believe in ghosts, Professor? And as long as I'm talking about M.R. James, and on the off chance anyone from the BBC is watching, how about a proper release for Christopher Lee's Ghost Stories for Christmas? Get with the programme. Sleeping, no doubt. Thanks for watching. M.R. James is the gold standard for ghost stories. What short stories of his or other authors would you like to see adapted into films? Let us know in the comments below.